Okay, okay. Now I know that the FIA have just said that Nikita Mazpin will continue to drive an F1 under a neutral flag, but I don't think this will last very long. UEFA and FIFA suggested a similar thing, and there was uproar. And now both of them have banned all Russians as a sanction from their sports. But I think it's likely that the same thing will happen to Nikita Mazpin in Formula 1. I think he'll be banned from the sport, and this is mainly due to a conflict of interest. We have an American team, Haas, an American media company, Liberty Media, who own Formula 1, having a Russian driver in their teams and sports. Therefore, I think Nikita Mazpin will be banned from F1 and removed from the Haas F1 team, just like many other Russian athletes who have been banned from their sports. Even the Ukrainian Motorsport Association called for Nikita Mazpin to be banned from F1. So which driver could replace him? Would they choose a rookie or a returning experienced driver? Let's find out. So what's the criteria Nikita Mazpin replacement must meet? I mean, Haas have to have a like-for-like -like replacement for it to be worthy. Well, of course, they must spin repeatedly. They must crash at the first braking zone of your F1 debut. They must quarrel with their teammate. They must ignore blue flags. What the is doing, honestly? They must make full use of the racetrack, including, but not limited to, the curbing, the gravel, and the Armco barriers. They must have a minimum of 3 million euros of crash damage, and finally, finish 21st out of 20 drivers, thanks to Robert Kubica, who only completed two races in 2021, but finished ahead of him in the standings, with only one functioning hand. But in all seriousness, how do Haas replace Mazepin, if he's forced to leave F1? Now with Haas's obvious ties to Ferrari, choosing a Ferrari Junior driver seems like an appropriate decision. Now how many Ferrari Junior drivers are there that could come to F1? Well there's two that come to mind for me, there's Robert Schwartzman, and there's Callum Eilock. Hi, I'm a racing driver. <laughs> Let's first look at Callum Eilock. I suggested that they choose him in my other video. The only problem is he's with IndyCar, and I don't think he'll leave for F1. I mean, I'm sure he wants to, but if he's allowed to, I'm not too sure. Then there's Robert Schwartzman, who's probably the most appropriate choice, until you realise that he's Russian, which probably won't help anyone. Another decent idea and candidate for the Haas F1 seat could be Antonio Giovinazzi, who was dropped by Alfa Romeo. Now I think he's okay, I mean right now he's in Formula E and he's last in the standings, but still he's an okay driver, but for me he's not the right choice. I mean he was in Formula 1 for 3 years and what did he achieve? Not much, he's already had his time to shine, and he didn't really shine that much, so I don't think he's a very good candidate. Now when you talk about drivers who deserve an F1 seat, the name Oscar Piastri will inevitably come up. Now this guy definitely deserves an F1 seat, as he destroyed everyone in the Formula 2 championship last year. Now Haas might be the perfect opportunity for him to get into F1, as Alpine probably wanted him in F1 this year, but they didn't have the availability in their team. So if Alpine can get him into Haas on loan, he'll get that F1 experience that he needs, so hopefully in a couple years time, maybe even next year, he'll be able to join that main Alpine team and maybe challenge for podiums or even wins depending on where Alpine turn up in the 2022 regulation. So I think Oscar Piastri is a great candidate for the Haas seat. Now another idea I touched upon in my other video was the fact that Andretti could buy the Haas Formula 1 team. Now if they do, they probably want to bring their driver, Colton Herter, into Formula 1 from IndyCar. Now I think they'd bring him in 2023 and not 2022. This is because he's currently the title favourite for the IndyCar Championship in 2022. So in the meantime, they'll probably just promote Pietro Fittipaldi for 2022 and see it through to the end of this year. I mean, Pietro's a pretty decent driver. He did pretty well in those two races or three races in 2020, and I'm sure he'd hold his own against Mick Schumacher. Now, if Haas wanted experience, they could always go for Nico Hulkenberg. Now, this guy's been sat on the sidelines for a few years, and his chances of getting back to F1 seem pretty slim, and this seems like his best option. Now he's a pretty decent driver, he's had experience with some big teams like Renault. I think he'd be able to give good feedback on the car and develop it well, and maybe he'll bring Haas to a midfield team next year. Who knows? Now there's probably a myriad of other racing drivers who could replace him. But who do you think should take Nikita Asbin's C if he's kicked out of Formula 1? I'd love to hear it, and I probably missed loads of them, so leave them down below, I'd love to read them all. Now if you had enjoyed the video this far, please do consider subscribing. It's free, only takes a few seconds, and you can always unsubscribe later if you want. Now with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching, I've been Connor, and I'll see you later. Bye.